son and friend! Just how are you going to do that when he's also an immortal? If you go barely in there, you'll just be trapped like we were before. Sir, you got it wrong. It was you who killed Anaira. No, it was you, Gumbara! My dear friend, did you not realize that the presence of your son was condemning Anaira's spirit to a prison of loneliness and isolation by degrees? What? Don't listen to him, Seth. You know madness ate away at him. You had no choice but to kill him. When your blade pierced his heart, it may have just as well pierced your own. No! I didn't kill him! You did it! Not me! Don't even give it a thought. Shut it out of your mind. What about your orders, Lieutenant Argonar? I'm no longer your pawn. The memory you erased has returned. Oh, really? That was clever. Realizing that even death couldn't compare to the pain of being unable to remember. I might as well have been dead these past 30 years serving as your agent. Those 30 years weren't so bad now, were they? I merely made the best use of your abilities. It was dirty work. <laughs> it suited you. There had to be a reason for us to come to this world in the first place. That includes you. What reason could that be? Ah, so your memories haven't completely returned. My power was indeed effective at that time, meager though it may have been. Hey, 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 come on now. You know, you just do way too much talking and not enough listening, you know? Silence, you idiot. Hey, I ain't shutting up. You're the worthless scum after what you did to my eyes. Oh, by the way, uh, that memory wiping pearl thing you gave me? Well, see, I used it on someone else. I don't know if that's a problem or not. I know. I saw everything you saw, remember? <laughs> You're the sleazy one, Lord Eyebrows. Oh, and uh, before I forget, this is the gold you gave me. I really want to throw it back in your face, and I won't. I'm just an idiot, right? Huh? Is that what you think? Huh? Can you see this, old man? Take a look at that! <laughs> see that? As if that matters to me. You lowly scum all deserve each other's company. What's that supposed to mean? Your newfound comrades. Kaim, Seth, Sarah, and me. They're traitors. Each and every one of them. Traitors? Traitors? We came here for a noble cause. Then you abused your immortality to try and take over. And I was forced to bring an end to your atrocities. If you think about it, I taught you all the lesson! Liar! You're the one who wants control of this world! Seth, calm down! How pathetic. <sighs> Do you know why I ordered you to Grand Staff? <clears throat> so that our mission would be a swift success! And what is that mission? That will not be revealed to traitors like you. Not traitors! <laughs> what do you think you can do about it? You will return our memories. I think not. <laughs> Cook, Mac, stay out of this. It's because I'm here and Mom's dead. I'm gonna stay and fight too. Kai, Sarah, these are your grandchildren. Killed him as I killed your daughter! Only now, I'm even more powerful. This time, your memories will be permanently locked away, leaving you walking corpses for all time! We'll see which of us is the traitor.
Angora! Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? Everyone! What's going on? Something's burning. God's me! Over here! Stay out of the light! Get out! <laughs> Time has returned to us. Kind, do you feel it? It feels different. The force that pervades my body is from our world. We're not letting you get away, Gangora! Oh, I'm not going anywhere. There is no better place for me to fight immortals than here. What? In this light, it's like being in a part of our own world. Here, beyond the mirrors, time flows normally. We are no longer immortal. In this light, one could say, death lives. Oh, that's so stupid. Death lives. But Grand Staff has fallen! What's left for you? You do not understand. I have conquered Ura and vanquished Gotsa. This magic energy will be enough to annihilate the Queen of Numara and gain the throne of the gods! If that's the only answer you come to after a millennium, there's no future for you! <laughs> a millennium! What will it be like to die after living a millennium? First, I shall deal with you who stand in my way. Then I shall destroy these cursed mirrors! <laughs> <laughs>